All ready for those, welcome in. So in this, today's video, <laughs> we are checking out this week's weekly challenge. So without further ado, let's clickety clack on a bunch of buttons and go to the map. Let's check out the challenge. No evidence. These ghosts really don't want to help you out, but we're sure you're up the task. Looking for the ghost type in Grafted Farmhouse. Woo! No evidence. Let's go. Okay. Um, I don't know if I remember this one, honestly, but... We will turn this into like a little tutorial in case you aren't familiar with finding evidence. And you're having a hard time this weekly. I'll try to walk you through how I test for every ghost. Um, I'm hoping, do we have evidence? Or sorry, <laughs> I meant sanity. Do we have sanity? Okay. So there's a few ghosts that we can pay attention to our sanity as far as when they hunt. Most ghosts hunt at 50% sanity. There's a couple ghosts that can hunt early. Demon, Raiju, yeah, Onryo. Yeah. No, not Jin. Jin like Jin. No, I gotta talk about Jin. No, no Jin. <laughs> um, Faye, and then a mimic of Emmett saying this goes. So pay attention to that. And why tier two smudgies? Why tier one parabolic mic? What is this loadout? We do have sanity pills, so that's nice. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with salts and maybe a video camera video camera i know we're putting out no evidence but there is one ghost that will stop evidence which is the mimic so we can kind of check for that right once we find the ghost room we can just be like yo any orbs and just cross off mimic right away however sometimes mimic orbs are sneaky so um do we have any curious possession It'd be like kind of nice but okay got the breaker on Getting the breaker on for no evidence is most important for the djinn. The djinn, uh, djinn's ability mainly focuses on the breaker, so if the breaker's off, you're not gonna be able to tell with the djinn or not. I'm sorry, I should explain. The salt is test for wraith. If I notice the ghost walk over the salt and not disturb it, that means it's a wraith. But if it does disturb the salt, we can cross off wraith. Very easy. Oh, also, a very important thing too is I need to get my smudge timer up on screen. Because there's two ghosts. Oh, there's a bone whose abilities are around uh, how long it takes them to hunt after you smudge them or incense them. <laughs> okay, let's get that up. I've heard nothing from the ghost. All right, so I guess we gotta, gotta sit around and wait for this ghost to do a thing. I turn on like every light upstairs. I'm like still gonna pop the breaker. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some more things while I wait for it to do stuff. Okay, so it's definitely doing something somewhere, but where? All right, so where are you doing things, my friend? Twelve degrees there. Did I turn this light on? Report. Okay, so I think it's over here. Can't remember if I turned this light on or not. Yeah, it's like two point three in here. That's like way too cold to just be the house. You know, be in. So, oh yeah, I can see my breath. Okay, cool. So let's get some salt down in here. I'm just gonna put it like maybe one in this doorway. One in this doorway. There's the third one, okay. The bowl just looked like looked empty, so I got really confused for a second. I was like, but don't I have one more? I don't know why I'm checking for freezing when I have evidence. Okay. <laughs> Go check the room for orbs really quick to see if it's a mimic or not. Sometimes it's good to like check the rooms around the ghost room for mimic, because sometimes the mimic orbs are sneaky. Yeah, I don't think I'm seeing any. All right. That does indeed mean that we can cross off Mimic. The only ghost we can cross off so far. Okay, it does look like it walked in the salt. So we can cross off Wraith. A Wraith will never disturb the salt like that. Okay. And these crucifixes are one gonna be to save- Oh. <gasps> I was gonna say, one to save us, and two to eventually test for like, Onryo. Yeah, let's put these like here. All right, grab a few more things. Wait, I sort of like it turned on. It's really important if a ghost turns on a light because it means you can cross off Mare. Jesus. <gasps> Mares are the only ghosts that can't turn on lights. I'm not sure if it turned one on or not. Oh. Uh, be so nice to cross off mare. Okay. 
We've had a few ghost events hit us, so that means our sanity is probably... Okay, it's actually perfect. So at this sanity, say, say our sanity is at 60%. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the ghosts that can hunt us right now are a Raiju if it's by electronics, an Onryo, and a Mare if it's in the dark. Also a Thay um, and a Demon, but if it's a Thay and we've aged it, its sanity hunting threshold has dropped. So, I'm not sure, but we'll definitely be able to tell if it's a Thay once it hunts so we see its speed. I might wait to light these candles. You only need two candles. Do this, I just brought a third one. I might wait to light those since it's their tier two candles only last five minutes. Um, another thing we could potentially do for Onryo is light all three candles, which I'll go ahead and show it off. Why not? And Onryo has a chance to hunt at any sanity if it blows out all three candles pretty quickly. I'd say within like 30 seconds of each other. I don't know the exact time though. When I did it, when I've had it happen, it's like within 30 seconds. Like boom, boom, boom. Oh, and one other thing we could be doing is grabbing a paramic and listening for a potential banshee scream. Oh, now you're doing stuff in there. Okay. I'm gonna turn that off and see if it hunts. Although, we might need to drop our sanity by like a couple percents. Couple percents! I was in the dark for like, I don't know, 30 seconds maybe? Okay. I'm not gonna go check, but I'm hoping my sanity is somewhere between 50 and 60. Which is perfect to tell for all the early hunters. Um, so let's leave this light off. If it's in there. Ooh, it shuts the door as soon as I turn that light off. A we'll blood a candle. Okay. Hmm. Ah, hunting. I'll give it a second though. Sometimes they take a, take a second. So this ghost doesn't hunt us until 50% sanity. We could potentially cross off. Onryo, Mare, Thay, Raiju, and Demon. Now, sometimes ghosts are lazy and they don't always hunt early, but theoretically they can and they're supposed to. I mean, it's not hunting. Let's keep our sanity just to make sure it's like 60 or below. Yeah, okay. So I kind of want to cross off all the early hunters. It's like Mare, Demon, Raiju, Thay. And Onryo. Now, it could be a Thay that we've aged, so we can, we'll come back to Thay if I notice that, like, maybe it speeds weird. Wait. No, we turn. I think we turned the light. <laughs> I could never tell what lights we had on and off. Okay, I need to let these candles go out, though. Although I'm fairly certain Onryo probably would have hunted us by now. They can hunt at 60% sanity. So, Demon can hunt at any sanity. Mare hunts at 60% if it's in the dark, 40% if it's in the light. Raiju hunts at 65% sanity if it's by powered electronics. Hello, sir. Um, where was I? Onryo can hunt at 6%. I don't know if I said this. Onryo can hunt at 6% sanity or any sanity if it blows out three candles pretty quickly. And they can hunt at 75% sanity before you age it. And then I think it drops by like 6% every time you age it. By which aging it, you just have to be near it per. I think like every. One to two minutes, it'll age if you're near it. Oh, you know what we can do as well? I completely forgot. We can grab, well, let's grab two things. Let's grab a paramedic test for Banshee and a camera to test for Phantom. The Banshee has a unique scream that I'll give on the paramedic that only the Banshee can give. And then a Phantom, when you take a picture of it during a ghost event, the ghost event will disappear and the picture will be crystal clear. So it's really cool if you did that whole ghost event thing again. I really like that. It also does low-key seem like it's going between um, the kitchen and the dining room. Like, I don't know if it's changed its favorite room. But it's definitely wandering a little bit. Which certain ghosts kind of tend to wander away from things. Like a shade, being shy, not wanting to hunt in the same room as you, will wander away from you to a different room. Onryos will try to wander away from candles, and then mares will try to wander away from the light. Which it does seem like you might have- did you change your favorite room to this room? 6.6. Okay, I think it has. So we can cross off Gorio. Gorio can never change its favorite room. So, that's actually huge. Thank you, ghost. Which, low key, this ghost is kind of acting like a shade. It's like not. I mean, it's done a few ghost events, but they've all been like super transparent. Um, shades will typically prioritize more airball ghost events or like not fully visible ghost events, which this ghost has done. Um, so it's not really like doing a whole lot either. Like it's not throwing much. 
Uh, so I think at this point we might just grab a smudge stick and go sit in the dark. It's not really doing a whole lot. I kind of want to get to hunt and see what it's about. Oh, perfect. Hold on. Doing great. Stay there. Oh, that's a fully visible event, though. Okay. So that was fully visible, meaning it's not a phantom. A phantom, the ghost would have disappeared in the picture, and it would have been crystal clear. It's been crossed. Oh, phantom. Thank you. You're, you're so kind. You're so kind. And here I am thinking it's a, a shade and it does that. I mean, shades can still do fully visible ghost events. It's just a little less likely. Okay. Actually, it'd be nice if we dropped our sanity by like another five, seven percent. Um, we can talk really quick about the late hunters. You have two late hunters. Shade has to wait to for, uh, till 40% sanity to hunt. Oh, sorry. 35. And a Dio has to wait till 40% sanity. So... If we get down to 50% sanity and we're chilling here for a little bit, we could suspect one of those ghosts. Okay. So we'll just vibe out in here for like maybe another 30 seconds to a minute. So it's also interesting that I'm seeing activity on the board, but I haven't heard activity anywhere. I haven't heard it throw anything. So is it somewhere else in the house right now? Well, no, cause like that's like the coldest room in the house. All right, so now, since our sanity is right about the perfect hunting threshold to test for most ghosts, we're gonna try to stay in the light, keep our sanity at 50. Okay, yeah, it's doing things like maybe foyer? It's like really changed its favorite room, jeez. Right, I'm gonna stay here for like a minute. And if it doesn't hunt, that's super weird. Definitely throwing things over there. Okay, so we've been sitting here for a minute, hasn't hunted. Oh. Oh, there's an airball ghost event. Okay, so that that event right there, where the airball like comes comes at you, you can cross off Oni. It means the ghost is not an Oni. Let's see what our sanity is now. Okay, okay. So if, if it is a Diogen, it can hunt us now. Let's go back inside. Thinking shade here though. Like I feel like that's the only ghost that would wait this long to hunt. What we'll do is we'll sit in here for like another like thirty seconds. Oh, okay. Interesting, all right. It's a gin? I did not see that coming. Okay, so I may <laughs> I may not smudge it. Now I can show you how I know it's a gin. Okay. The reason I knew it's a gin is because at the the second it like rounded the corner and saw me, it got like a huge uh, jump in its speed. Okay. It's weird that it didn't hunt us before this. But sometimes ghosts are just lazy. Sometimes they don't abide by the hunting threshold. They take their sweet time. So next time this ghost hunts, what I want you to pay attention to is its speed before it sees me and its speed after it sees me. It's going to be normal speed before it sees me. And the second it, it catches a uh, line of sight with me, it's going to speed up to catch up to me. And then it should go back down to normal speed. Something else you can do with the gin, which we actually technically could have done, is. Hold on, let me shut up while. You see, he's back down to normal speed now. He might get a little bit faster because he might be seeing me around the, the corners of the kitchen island. So I was gonna say about the breaker is that um, the gin has another ability where it'll zap your sanity by 25%. When it does this, it'll give you EMF2 reading at the breaker. Um, I didn't even like think to recommend that. Um, but it's, it's sometimes kind of rare because like, you have to be near the gin for it to use its ability, but also like close enough to the breaker to hear the EMF go off. So I normally don't test for gin that way. I just kind of let it hunt and then go from there. Okay, well, just a lazy gin, I guess, that waited till we were at 40% sanity. It's hot. Okay. Well, we got gin locked. Let's see. It was indeed a gin. All right. Let's go do it again. Might go with a paramag this time. Maybe get like a lucky banshee scream early on. That'd be pretty nutty. Or maybe a camera might be better in case we get like an early ghost event. Test for phantom. Maybe next game we'll go with a camera. Okay. 
Nice, right, so I have the breaker on. I'm not sure where the ghost is yet, though. Are you up here? I might turn this off and just see if I hear it throw anything. Oh, I just touched the piano. Okay, that works. Thank you. Okay, so it's potentially like around here. Okay, I just want to confirm that before I put any salt down. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it's pretty cold in here. Okay, I just touched that door. So here, maybe kitchen? Let's see if it's colder in the kitchen. Oh, it seems to be colder in here. Okay. We'll just check this like whole area for orbs really quick. 7.1. Oh, okay. Air ball. That means not an Oni. Nice. Oh. Oh, let's try to get a picture. Oh, it's in my hand. Okay, not a phantom because it's... Oh, wait. That was so weird. Why did I get a two... This game's so weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, okay. But we can cross off phantom. <laughs> Because it's in the picture. And it's doing a lot of Ring Around the Rosie singing, which Banshees typically do that ghost event more than others. Doesn't always mean it's a Banshee, but we could try to listen on the prayer mic and see if it's a Banshee. But I was going to check for orbs, wasn't I? Let's do that. I'm not seeing any in here. Let's just check the kitchen really quick. Okay. So, <laughs> remember earlier when I was talking about early hunters and Thay was one of them? That is what this ghost is. This ghost is a Thay. So, I'll try to shut up so you can hear how fast it is. It's already over. Um, like I mentioned, Thays can hunt you at 75% 70, insanity when the contract first, Jesus, when the contract first starts. She's about to follow me right out. And they'll also be extremely fast. Another characteristic of the Thay I forgot to mention, they're super active as well when they're young and you haven't aged them. So they're gonna do like a lot of ghost events, uh, maybe like throw a lot of things. So basically if you first start a contract and you get hit by a couple ghost events or you're in the dark for a little bit and you're Sanity or your average group sanity hits 75 and the ghost hunts and it's like that fast. Very likely a Fae or a Mimic. Um, let me talk about any of the other ghosts that you figure out from like hunting behavior. So a Yokai, you would like sit behind a door or maybe crouch behind like the kitchen island with your flashlight on, with your walkie talkie yelling at it and see if it can find you. If your walkie talkie is staticking and the ghost doesn't come to you, it can most likely be a Yokai. Um, Miling will be super duper quiet when it's hunting, so you won't hear it when it's on the same floor as you until your flashlight starts flickering. Um, besides being an early hunter, Raiju will get faster around your electronics, so you know this ghost at normal speed, and then it gets close to you and your flashlight and gets faster, it's probably Raiju. Maroi, when it's hunting, its speed is dependent on your sanity or your average group sanity. The lower your sanity, the faster the Maroi will be. So if you notice the ghost hunt at like 50% sanity and it's like kind of slow, and then your sanity drops quite a bit and it gets faster and faster and faster each time it hunts as your sanity is dropping. Probably Maroi. You could also like reverse test this and take a sanity pill while it's hunting. So like your sanity will go up and see if it gradually slows down during the hunt. Um, Revenants will be very, very slow while it's hunting. And then the second it detects a player, it'll get really fast. Yuri also has like out of hunt, only has, I should say out of hunt, tells to what it is. AKA it'll like fully slam a door outside of a ghost event or a hunt, but it's kind of rare. <laughs> so Yuri's really frustrating to figure out. They also get trapped in the room for 60 seconds after you smudge them. So you could like smudge it and then set up motion sensors and see if it doesn't leave the room during that time. But it's not always like telltale sign. Cause like sometimes maybe another ghost just didn't leave the room, like another ghost type. Um, Hantu, uh, Hantu's speed during the hunt depends on how cold or hot the room is. The colder the room, the faster the Hantu, the warmer the room, the slower the Hantu. They also don't gradually speed up with line of sight. So if you're in like a warm room 
Ghost is slow and it's also not progressively getting faster and faster. Probably a haunt too. Um, Honorios can't hunt within four meters of a lit candle. So let's put some candles on some crucifixes. Let's see if it refuses to hunt while the candles are lit. Obake, every time it hunts, it has a 6.66% chance of shapeshifting. So if you're looping it, you see a ghost model go from like granny to the tall skinny lady in the same hunt. Well, I think mean, that's the only time it would probably happen. It would be an Obake. Um, Diogens, you can't hide from them. They know, they know where you are at all times when they're hunting. They're going to be extremely fast when they're far away from you and then slow down when they get close to you. Showcase what a Jin's like. Shades can't hunt in the same room as you. I so said this is like the, the totally like TLDR version of this. I have a complete hidden ghost abilities guide if y'all want to check that out. I do need to update my no evidence guide though because they've changed some things. Uh, Phantom besides the, the whole picture thing of a very long blink while it's hunting. And the Oni's like the opposite. It'll be like super duper visible while it's hunting. Twins, when they hunt, will either be slightly slower than normal or slightly faster than normal. Mimic, you just check for ghost orbs. Or if the ghost goes from being a normal speeded ghost, then next time it becomes a Diogen. Mimic. And then we just showcase it there. So hopefully we get a ghost where I have to test for some of these other things. Like, I'm going to show you how I do it. And so far, we've got some pretty straightforward ghosts. Go and load out. Double check that they is correct. Day is indeed Welcome correct. Back. Very nice. All right. Let's go do our last game. So this time we're going with a camera and some salts. Okay. Oh, I already hear it. It just like giggled the teddy bear. That kind of sounded like it was above me. Does it sound a little muffled? Let's get the breaker on. We'll go check that room. Why can't I walk straight right now? It's like the camera I'm holding has collision. What the heck? Oh, there's a bone as well. Nice. Nice. Right, so breaker is upstairs. Yeah, I can hear it throwing things above me. So I think it's like in a nursery room. All right, got the breaker on. Oh, oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I didn't turn that light on. The ghost turned that light on, which means we can cross off Mare. But like, what's it doing over here? I thought I heard it doing things in this room. Let me just check this room really quick, see if anything's thrown. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it just totally giggled this teddy bear. Like, watch. Oh, okay. I. What? I'm not getting an interaction picture on it. Definitely giggled that though, right? Gaslighted right now by the ghosts. So, is it following me? I want to try something really quick. Put salt here. That's doing stuff out there. Now I'm confused. It could just be like uh, upstairs hallway ghosts. So it's just kind of roaming between these two rooms as well. You want to walk through the salt? Or maybe it's a wraith. That's why it's not walking through the salt. All right. So in the meantime, I'll grab a few more things. My sanity is too. Yeah, I think it's at 91%. We're chilling. Orbs really quick. Down here. Down here. It like almost looked like an orb. Oh, it's just like weird. Okay. Down in here. Let's check this room real quick. All right, I'm not seeing any orbs anywhere near here unless it's already changed its favorite room. So, it's likely not a mimic because of that. Boom, all right. So actually, we could, I could have used this to check the temps. Okay, so it's not, yeah, it's not in the hallway. Ooh, that's interesting. These rooms are pretty warm. Mm, it might be in here, actually. Oldest room so far. Just checking here real quick. Okay, so we're gonna set up for the bathroom because that's where it seems to be the coldest. And I'm gonna grab some more salt because I put all the salt in the wrong room. <laughs> and we'll start seeing how this ghost behaves. Okay, so I'm gonna put some salt like in this doorway. And I'm gonna some salt right here. 
We're gonna vibe out by this chair. Let's see, what do I have in my hand? Oh. Some, I wanna see this ghost is following me. Which could mean that it's three ghosts Phantom, Wraith, or Banshee. So we're gonna vibe out here with a motion sensor near us. Also, a camera to test for Phantom. Although I could maybe could move the motion sensor over there to see if it's actually walking through the solids, but like right now, it's not really doing a whole lot of anything. I'm gonna put this over here now to see if it Okay, there we go. If it activates that. Did I leave the thermometer? Right, where did I put the thermometer? There it is, okay. Okay, so now it's warm in here. <laughs> Dude, where is this ghost at? What the heck? Did I already change your room over here? Oh my god, I wonder if it went downstairs. Tell me you're down here now. It is. That's okay. So it like changed its favorite room down here. Dude, I only have one more thing to solve. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna grab it and put it down here. <laughs> Alright, boom. 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 Are you gonna move again? Okay. So not a wraith. The seven of salt. Okay. Let's go and grab parabolic. And also I have my camera on me. Let's see ghost events. Okay. Oh, I got a whisper somewhere. Check for orbs down here really quick, since it does seem to be here? Okay. Alright, no orbs. No orbs? Okay. No. Kind of the page of the game, I man. I probably at this point want to sit in the dark and try to get the hunt. They cross off some more ghosts. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. So it just activated the motion sensor. Can't tell which one it walked through though. So does that mean that it's okay? It looks like it went left, right. Okay. I'm trying to see if it's like trying to like stalk me and follow me around. Banshee is the way they work. So I'm like, I don't know for sure if it's a banshee, but they will pick one target and then kind of stalk that person as long as they're on the same floor as the banshee. Um, not like during a hunt, just like like when they're not hunting, they'll kind of like follow them around. So you could potentially like on the same floor as the ghost go to a completely different room from the ghost room with like a motion sensor and maybe some salt and see if it follows you. So it'd be really weird, like say for example, we can try it. It'd be really weird if the ghost, here, I'll leave behind my flashlight. It'd be really weird if the ghost like followed me into this closet over here. Even like the, we could do laundry room. Is there hiding in the laundry room? There. Oh, wait, stay there. Of course, the second I drop my camera. Oh, I have my camera. Oh, I disappeared. No. Ah. Uh, did she was like legitimately in that hiding spot though? What the heck? Okay, well, I was saying it'd be really weird if a ghost whose ghost room is there follows me into here. Now it did ghost event on me. Not like super weird. I do kind of want to grab the crucifix in case it's a, uh, uh, you know, wants to try to hunt on top of me. Okay, so we're gonna grab it here with the crucifix. Actually, I'm gonna grab my smudge stick just in case it's none of these ghosts and it's a Diogen I'm hiding and it hunts and tries to kill me. Basically, right now we're looking for while we're waiting for it to hunt is, is it gonna be coming in here and activating this motion sensor? Um, I'll try to take a picture of it again. Just to test, cause a uh, phantom could also be doing stuff like this, like following me around. Oh, I just accidentally started my timer. And we'll also be looking for a potential banshee scream on the paramic. Okay, at this point it hasn't like activated the motion sensor at all. 
Another way we could test for Phantom is we could grab the EMF reader and see if we ever get a random EMF too. I think we can grab that. We can try that. I mean, it could be none of those ghosts. I could just be wishful thinking, thinking that it's following me around. It actually could be like trying to avoid something. Like the fact that it changes room from upstairs to downstairs is kind of weird. Also, if it's been in the foyer the whole time, a banshee wouldn't have been able to follow me upstairs. I'm not sure exactly like where it, its ghost room could have been the foyer the whole time. It does seem to be pretty active in the living room. Oh uh, wait, we should probably you know before I get to tunnel vision on Phantom or Banshee, let's look at where our sanity is. Okay, so if the ghost hunts within I'd say the next thirty seconds or so, it could potentially be a mare on trying to hunt in the dark. So go go in here. Let's see my reader down. So this is my feet in case we get the phantom water ability. Turn off this light so our sanity drains. And let's see, I'll start a timer so we can see if the ghost hunts. Anytime soon. Anytime soon it'll probably be a mare. Or even an onrio. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light back on. Sanity should be somewhere between 50 and 60 right now. Let's see, where did I put the camera? Just double check that real quick. All right, that's just the ghost event. Okay, so not a phantom because she <laughs> she's in the picture. Okay, our sanity is probably like way below fifty percent now. So a non mare could also hunt us. Whenever a ghost event hits you, it drains your sanity. So that's why. Assuming your sanity is dropped, I'm definitely feeling like less banshee as well now because. Does not seem like she's come in here at all and like activating the motion sensor. I mean, she's sure she's ghost evented on this, but that's, we're not too far from the ghost room for to trigger a ghost event. Okay, it is hunting. It sounds normal speed. So after this, we'll go check what our sanity is. Oh, I think it might be a miling, maybe? Uh, so I could like hear it throwing things in the dining room, but I didn't hear its footsteps. But maybe it was just like a little bit too far away. Okay. Let me go see what our sanity is. It's probably below 50%. Okay. So it's at 45%. So let's talk about what goes between cross off. We can definitely cross off shade because it hunted us way too early. Shade has to wait till 35%. Um, obviously not a Dio. A Dio would have like found us and been very, very slow. Let's see what else we can cross off. Probably not a Hauntu because the speed was pretty consistent throughout the house. Like a Hauntu would have been, its speed would have been all over the place as, as it was entering and like warm and cold rooms. Uh, normal speed, so it wasn't a Revenant. A Revenant would have been slow. Uh, wasn't slightly faster, slightly slowly, so not twins. So let's see, our sanity is at 40%. Okay. Another thing, it probably would have been, I mean, we've aged it a little bit, but I feel like it, it probably would have sounded a little bit faster. Definitely not Goyo, right? It's like changed his favorite room way too many times. Let's see, anything else to cross? Probably not a Raiju. I'm pretty sure I had my video camera in the foyer. I didn't hear it get faster in there. And we can do like an official miling test. I'm a little hesitant to cross off Moroi because our sanity's at like 43%, so it might sound almost like normal speed right now. We'd probably have to wait till like 30% or below to notice a speed difference on the Moroi. So this next hunt, we're gonna go into the kitchen and try to get like a visual of the ghost. See what it looks like. The ghost will allow me. Am I? Oh, I didn't have my flashlight on. Okay. All right. So so far, pretty normal. Blink wise, normal speed wise as well. Um, I'm going smudge. Sorry about the roof. I'm going smudger instead of timer. So you want to start your timer as soon as you smudge the ghost. Wait, did she just shape shift? No. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Oh, I saw Granny for a second. My dogs are absolutely going ham. I apologize. <laughs> Can we go grab this smudge stick? Not sure if I just saw Shape Shift. I think there's like a FedEx person here, and so my dogs are politely telling the FedEx person to f off. Okay, so this ghost was not a gin because remember that gin from the first game? It got immediately fast when it walked into the room and saw us. Uh, was that visible enough to be an Oni? I'm not sure about a Shape Shift. 
So we might loop it again. We're also paying attention to the smudge timer right now. Yeah, I got up on screen. I uh, seem to be easily tracking us with our flashlight on, so not a yokai. A yokai probably would have lost us at some point while we were looping it, because it wouldn't have even seven star flashlight. Don't think it was slow enough to be poltergeist. I actually wasn't really paying attention to that, but I don't think so. And I think it was too loud to be miling. I think I could hear its footsteps before my... Actually, I didn't have my flashlight on, right? We'll double check miling this on too. Oh. Not a huge fan of that, because I kind of want this light on to see you. Thank you. Let's see. I mean, but ten, I, I'm not sure about Mori. I mean, I feel like Mori probably would be faster by now. We'll have to keep our sanity. And most likely not a demon. A demon can hunt after 60 seconds of smudging them, and this ghost hasn't yet, so. But also could be a lazy demon. I think I forgot to mention. So spirits have to wait three minutes to hunt after you smudge them, and then I'll just turn off the breaker. That is so annoying. I have to go all the way upstairs to turn that back on. <laughs> and then a demon, a demon can hunt after 60 seconds of smudging them. Okay, ma'am. This could just be a spirit. This could just be a spirit. This, it do be waiting three minutes. Hunt. Oh no, it's hunting right now. Okay. She debated me. Where am I? Oh. Okay. Well, we're just gonna try to live. Okay, so not a spirit, because the spirit would have had to wait till three minutes. That timer would have had to be three minutes to work it on. Should I try to get in position to looper again. I want to double check Obake. Oh no, she turned the radio on. I'd be able to like, get her to come upstairs. We can get a really nice long visual and see if she shapeshifts. Maybe if she comes upstairs. Oh wait, we have a mirror. I just realized that. I'm so dumb. I think that's the one curse possession I probably checked for, right? Nice, okay. Oh, <gasps> she is an Avake! Let's go! Oh my god. So you see that shape shift? I don't really use this much timer, but I will. So if you see something like that, that is only something an Avake can do. You wanna give me one more shape shift before you walk out? No. Oh, this is my favorite ghost, by the way. <laughs> I always get so excited when I get one. It's actually been a while since I've had an Obake. I think actually my most common ghost got switched to Phantom because it's been so long. Hopefully I can get some more Obakes and I'll go back to Obake. Yes, I know. You're beautiful and I love you. Thank you. So yeah, that is what an Obake looks like. Now this is kind of like a rough guide of like how to figure out every ghost. Um, it's kind of about how I, I usually go about doing it. Normally I play on zero sanity so I don't get to do like all these early hunting tests for like Mare and um, whatnot, but it's kind of nice sometimes to start with 100% sanity and test for those ghosts. Ta-da! And well, there, those are my three games. If you guys have any questions about like certain ghost abilities, feel free to comment down below. I will have my ghost hidden abilities guide linked in the description in case you want to like see some of these ghost abilities for yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, I do need to update my no evidence guide, which I will try to do soon. Um, but that's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop the video a like. If you'd love to drop me a sub, good luck ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.